part of bustling downtown, where the city's skyline kissed the heavens, two unsuspecting souls found themselves entangled in the spectral tapestry of their chosen dwellings. Emily, a hopeful newcomer seeking a fresh start, and Adam and Sarah, a couple drawn by the allure of suburban tranquility, embarked on journeys that transcended the tangible boundaries of their homes. Little did they know that the shadows lingering within the walls held secrets that would unravel their sense of security, leaving them teetering on the precipice between the living and the dead. In this bone-chilling exploration of the supernatural, their tales unfold with eerie whispers, ghostly apparitions, and the haunting remnants of tragic histories that refuse to fade away. Story one, the spectral resonance of hollow whispers, echoes of tragedy in suburbia. Adam and Sarah, newlyweds with dreams of domestic bliss, found an old rental house at the quiet end of a suburban street. The aging structure, standing in stoic silence, hid its malevolent secrets behind worn walls and creaking floorboards. Little did the couple know that their new abode held a chilling history that would soon unravel. The first inkling of the house's ominous nature occurred during their inaugural night. The air hung heavy with an eerie stillness, broken only by a faint whisper that seemed to dance through the darkened rooms. The couple dismissed it as the sound of the wind or their imaginations playing tricks on them. However, as the nights unfolded, the whispers persisted, growing louder and more unsettling with each passing hour. Footsteps echoed through the halls at odd hours, disrupting the tranquility the couple had hoped for. They often found themselves frozen in the middle of the night, listening to the inexplicable sounds of unseen entities traversing the barren corridors. The house, it seemed, was alive with a spectral energy that defied the laws of the living. One evening, as Sarah prepared for bed, she ventured toward the bathroom. The cold linoleum sent shivers through her feet, but it was the sudden drop in temperature that truly unsettled her. A haunting gust of wind swept through the narrow hallway, extinguishing the candles that adorned the antique vanity. The atmosphere thickened as she turned the corner, only to find the shower inexplicably running, its water cascading eerily onto the ceramic floor. The room echoed with the chilling rhythm of droplets against porcelain, and Sarah felt a presence, an unseen entity watching her every move. Panic set in as she struggled to turn off the shower, the cold water soaking her trembling hands. Meanwhile, Adam, blissfully ignorant of his wife's supernatural encounter, faced his own spectral disturbance. In the heart of the night, a shadowy figure materialized at the foot of their bed. Its form, indistinct and otherworldly, watched the couple with hollow eyes. Adam's breath caught in his throat as he reached out, desperate to grasp some tangible reality, but the figure dissipated into the darkness. The room, now void of any presence, left Adam questioning his sanity, haunted by the lingering image of a phantom intruder. As the days passed, the couple's collective dread intensified. Curiosity and fear propelled them into the depths of the house, particularly the foreboding basement. Guided by faint whispers that beckoned from the shadows, they descended the creaking stairs into a dimly lit space. The air, heavy with the weight of the past, carried the sound of unintelligible conversations that seemed to emanate from the very walls. Adam and Sarah exchanged uneasy glances, their senses overwhelmed by a cacophony of voices that transcended the boundaries of the living. One night, as the couple delved deeper into the spectral mysteries of their new home, they unearthed a collection of old photographs hidden in a dusty box tucked away in the attic. Faces frozen in time stared back at them, the family that once called this house their sanctuary. The realization hit them like a cold gust of wind. 
the residence had been the stage for a tragedy that unfolded years ago. Further research led them to a newspaper article chronicling the brutal murder of a family of three within the very walls they now called home. The revelation sent shivers down their spines as they learned of the grim details. A father, driven to madness, had succumbed to an unspeakable darkness, ending the lives of his wife and child before succumbing to his despair. The couple now faced a decision that transcended the bounds of the tangible world. The basement, the epicenter of spectral conversations, had become a portal to the afterlife, an echo of the family's shattered existence. Adam and Sarah felt an obligation, a connection to the tortured souls that lingered within the confines of their home. Haunted by both the unearthly disturbances and the revelation of the house's tragic history, the couple grappled with their newfound reality. The basement, once a source of dread, became a place of communion, where they sought to bridge the gap between the living and the departed. Yet, the spirits were not placated. The whispers grew louder, the shadows more tangible, and the house seemed to breathe with the pain of unresolved sorrow. The couple, bound to their spectral tenants, teetered on the precipice between the living and the dead. In a final act of desperation, Adam and Sarah sought the guidance of a paranormal expert. Together, they performed a seance, a ritual to communicate with the lingering spirits and offer them solace. The basement, illuminated by flickering candlelight, became a conduit for the ethereal forces that had held the couple captive. The seance unleashed a torrent of emotions as the voices of the departed family finally found release. The atmosphere shifted, the temperature rising as if the weight of the past had been lifted. The spectral whispers transformed into a soothing breeze, carrying with it a sense of peace that permeated the once tormented house. With a final ethereal farewell, the apparitions dissipated into the ether, leaving Adam and Sarah in the silence of their newfound sanctuary. The once haunted rental house, now free from the shackles of its tragic history, stood as a testament to the couple's courage and compassion. The suburban facade, once a veneer concealing a spectral reality, now held the echoes of a resolution, a tale of love, loss, and redemption that transcended the realms of the living and the dead. The spectral resonance of hollow whispers had been replaced by the serenity of a home reborn. Story 2 the Lament of Echoing Whispers Haunting Secrets in the City's Embrace In the heart of downtown, where the city's pulse echoed through towering buildings, Emily found herself in a one-bedroom apartment that seemed like an urban oasis. She had relocated from another state, drawn by the promise of a new job and the allure of city life. Little did she know that her chosen apartment, discovered through an online rental service, held a haunting secret that would unravel her sense of security. During her first week, everything appeared normal. The city's hum outside her window provided a soothing backdrop, and the sleek interior of her apartment seemed like the perfect haven after long work days. However, as the initial excitement waned, Emily began noticing peculiar occurrences that set the stage for an unsettling narrative. Late at night as she lay in bed, Emily heard the subtle creaking of the floorboards around her. At first, she attributed it to the settling of an old building, but the sounds soon morphed into distinct footsteps. They circled her bed in an irregular, almost malevolent pattern. Her imagination tried to dismiss them as mere urban noises, but an inexplicable sense of dread crept into her consciousness. Oftentimes, as sleep veiled her senses, Emily was startled awake by the sensation of heavy breathing near her ears. The air in her room seemed to thicken, and a chilling whisper echoed, urging her to leave. The voice 
disembodied and filled with anguish, became a nightly torment, leaving Emily paralyzed with fear. The nightmares began soon after vivid dreams that invaded her subconscious like a malevolent force. In these nocturnal terrors, Emily witnessed the tragedy that unfolded within the walls of her apartment. A young woman, despondent and heartbroken, hung from the ceiling fan in the very room where Emily now sought solace. The visceral horror of the dreams jolted her awake in the darkness, leaving her trembling and disoriented. Haunted by these nocturnal visions, Emily's days became a haze of anxiety and fear. She began to sense a presence in the room, an unseen entity that seemed to linger, growing more restless as the nights wore on. The whispering voice intensified, its pleas and warnings merging with the shadows that clung to the corners of her apartment. Unable to endure the spectral torment any longer, Emily delved into the history of her apartment. A sense of trepidation gripped her as she uncovered the chilling truth. A young woman, devastated by a heart-wrenching breakup, had taken her own life within the confines of Emily's sanctuary. The echoes of that tragedy had woven themselves into the very fabric of the apartment. Faced with the realization that she shared her living space with a tormented spirit, Emily grappled with a decision. The apparition, bound by grief and unresolved emotions, seemed unwilling to let go. Emily's fear escalated, knowing that she was not alone and that the spectre's presence invaded every aspect of her life. With a heavy heart and a sense of desperation, Emily decided to leave. Packing her belongings, she felt the weight of invisible eyes watching her every move. The apartment, once a symbol of a promising new chapter, now felt like a suffocating trap. As she closed the door behind her for the last time, Emily couldn't shake the feeling of a lingering presence. The whispers seemed to fade, replaced by a palpable silence. Yet, she knew that the ghostly residue of heartbreak and despair remained, etched into the history of that one-bedroom apartment downtown. The city outside continued its rhythm, unaware of the silent drama that unfolded within the walls of Emily's former home. As Emily closed the door to her city apartment, and as Adam and Sarah, haunted by spectral encounters, sought resolution in their suburban home, the echoes of their stories lingered in the air. The resonance of hollow whispers and the palpable weight of unresolved sorrow transcended the physical confines of their dwellings, leaving an indelible mark on their lives. The city continued its rhythm, and the suburbs retained their tranquil facade, but the tales of the supernatural reminded them that some secrets, once unearthed, could never be fully laid to rest. In the realms of the supernatural, the spectral threads of the past intertwined with the present, ensuring that the chilling whispers of ghostly encounters endured were a silent testament to the unyielding power of haunted histories. Thank you to the viewers for joining us on this journey into the unknown. We hope these bone-chilling ghost encounters have left you with a sense of wonder and a newfound appreciation for the mysteries that lie beyond our understanding. Until next time, may you find solace in the realm of the living and may the spirits of the departed remain at peace.